Welcome back guys, I am back with another video. This video will be the continuation of the last part that is single line test part 1. I will this will be the part 2 of that video. So without wasting time, let's move into the video. I came into the PyCharm, I am going to create a new Python file naming it as single underscore inherit. Okay, because we had made a part one. This is the part two of the video. Okay, and in this, I will we will be printing list of list like we will be working on printing list of lists. Okay, and for this, I will be going to like copy the complete code of the previous part. That's from class student to man of dot print info okay i will paste a code here just a second yeah so now this uh we uh, the athlete in athlete class the parent class is not called here okay so this is my athlete class i'm going to like modify it i will be using the init function here sorry after this i guess okay i'm going to create another function naming it as the init you can check the init video if you haven't checked it and i will be assigning like a name a std a role okay that we had covered in the previous part for the parent class not for the base class okay not for the child class my mistake and in this i will also add another variable name as a sub that will be for carrying the subject for the student okay so first is i'm going to call the self dot name i i will calling it by a name next is self dot std it will be called by a std self dot role i will call it with the name a role self dot subjects and i will call it by a sub okay so I had created this uh, here, like we had created a variable and called by choosing the keywords like self.name is for a name, self.role for a role, self.std for a std, self.subject is for a sub. Okay. So now uh, the code will remain same till the end, but there is a still a small modification that I have to do is that in this uh, I had completed till role. I am to add the further detail and the subjects are self dot subjects okay I'm just going to small it just a second yeah got it okay so now uh, the details will remain same but for this uh, as to athlete class i have to add the subject for the students and I will be adding it in the form of a list because we are working on printing list of list. Okay. Maths. Just a second. Maths. Uh, let me add if we're in 12th physics. Other might be chemistry. He is a PCM student just like me. Okay. Yeah, he is generally a PCM student. He is my friend. And if he is a 10th student, he has some basic subjects like Hindi, just a second, Hindi, English, and SST or science, we can see. I can add one more subject, no issue. There is no limitation to add our data in the list. You can add 3, 4, 1, 2, T according to your needs. In the first list, I had three subjects, that's Maths, Physics, and Chemistry. And in the second one, I had added four subjects, that's Hindi, English, SST, and Science. So now I'm going to print it. Uh, just I'm going to comment out this mana statement, or I can remove the statement. Okay, you can see the name of the subject is Shubham. I, let's just comment out the statement too, and I need a single output. The name of the is Shubham. STD is 12, and roll number is 381. Okay, and the subjects are maths, physics, chemistry. We can remove and from here. 
and like add a comma here and a comma here okay the output will be more presentable now the name of athlete is shubham std is 12 role number is 31 and the subject sir math physics and chemistry we can also get the output for the amit also by commenting out the statement for shubham the output remains different for amit because the output details are different for amit the name of athlete is amit std is 10 role number is 419 and subjects are hindi english ssc and science you can see i gave a list in the input statement and i am getting a list in the output statement so our motive for the video is completed like we are here to print list of list i am getting a list of list means it is a list that has a various entries in form of list so the motive for this video is complete now so i hope you guys got a clear understanding of this topic okay and uh, not only this in this case let me change it because the parent class is not called here because we had created separate variables we had created variables like a name std a role sf so you if, if you can also comment out this class your output will remain same for the opt code okay there is no issue to create a student class you can similarly go with athlete class and also you can remove this because we are not using the parent class the output will remain same for this case okay let's uh, give you an example by commenting out this part and for this we have to comment out these two lines and one more line okay so we can run the code with uh, sorry i press debug just a second okay so i got the output even with a single class you can use a single class to get the output so this is a part of inheritance means uh, you can do it with the help of inheritance but here inheritance has not been done we haven't called the parent class and it's not inherited from the parent class it is just to give you an example about how to print list of list with the help of a class so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like share and comment on the videos and if you haven't subscribed my channel make sure to subscribe it and hit the notification icon and thanks a lot for completing 5400 subs on the channel and we had also accomplished a goal of 1 lakh views on this channel so i'm highly motivated for providing a valuable content to you guys and i had created a community post on my channel make sure to give your valuable comments because i am looking for some projects that will be recommended by my viewers so it would be appreciable for me to work on those projects and provide information on that projects so you can learn and i can help you grow so that's it till then keep learning and thank you guys